Zion, Zion, Zion. I know some people, I think it was a player's choice, had a live stream about what's going on with Zion. And I know a lot of people in that conversation were not too happy that that video or live stream was even happening. Talking about this has nothing to do with basketball. Oh, it has a lot to do with basketball. See, yes. When you have an unstable life outside of your profession, mainly for Zion, he has whatever he got, he got going on. He got just too much going on. It's kind of hard to concentrate. It's kind of hard to focus on basketball and do what you need to do when you're dealing with a whole bunch of toxicity off the court. This goes for John Morant as well. It kind of takes you away from what you need to do in your professional life. See, Zion, he has no guidance. He has no structure. I don't want to make this a religious thing either. But I am going to go there. Um, from what I'm seeing, he has no guidance from God as well. From Christ. He got nothing. Most of these players don't. They just go out there and just... Live whatever type of life they decide to live. That's fine, but you see the consequences of it. And somebody said, why did these players just do their business and leave and still try to be in a relationship with them? I say, why even deal with them on any level, sexual or relationship status? Don't deal with any of them. Because they can get you caught up. That's what happened to Paul George. Dealt with a stripper and got caught up. Well, he married her now, but it's like. He had. What was he at the time? Who was he dating at the time? I think he was dating Doc Rivers' daughter. At Optus' point of view, it looks terrible. But who knows what was going on with Doc Rivers' daughter. Maybe he didn't like something from her. Who knows? But uh, I would rather <laughs> date someone who actually. Oh, I can't say that. I can't say that Paul George's wife now didn't come from a stable family. Who knows? But I'm just saying, looking at Doc Rivers, at least his family, like at least he got some type of stability. But who knows? But it's just like these dudes just don't make good decisions at all. There's no guidance with these dudes. They just... I'm a NBA star. Now, I'm, now it's my time to smash a whole bunch of women that I need to conquer. This is going to be fun. Still worrying about basketball more 98% of the time. But everybody can't be Jordan. All right, let me rephrase that because Jordan has some other stuff going on. Everybody can't be Kobe outside of the 2003 incidents. We ain't even talking about that, but after that, when he finally became the Black Mama persona, he was straight focused on that. He's sure he had a family outside of it, but it's like, at the same time, you heard nothing bad about Kobe off the court after that 2003. He was a straight family man after that. But everybody don't have that mentality just to focus on one thing. These days... It's a free-for-all for these young NBA players. Not to say there are people who focus on the game. Because apparently there are a lot of people that focus on the game. And they still got families and not hear anything stupid about them off the court. You don't hear anything about Curry. You don't hear anything about Giannis. Shoot. <sighs> you don't really hear anything about LeBron doing any weird stuff like this. Yeah. I heard stuff about LeBron, what he does, but it's all allegations at this point. I'm just saying, even if he does, these dudes do do this stuff. There's no, the Zion has no NDA. There's no hush up behind the scenes from these women. They just be saying anything. They don't sign anything like that. So Zion will be, <sighs> I bet you John Morant sitting there like, Whew. At least somebody's taking the heat off me. No, we ain't forget about you, Ja. Your punishment must be more severe. 
But uh, right now, as it stands, Zion is the butt of old jokes and the, uh, <laughs> oh, man. Number one clown right now in the NBA. He knocked John Moran off for now. I'm sure this will ease down as the days go by. But it's just like everybody suspected him being on the court. Everybody, he ain't, he ain't been to the playoffs yet. About to say the Hornets. The Pelicans been to the playoffs already since he's been drafted. He ain't even playing in the playoff game because he hurt. Ain't focus. A woman coming for your money. He ain't gonna have no money. He gonna be broke. Eating pole boys. She already does already. Eating donuts every day. Big as a house. Talk about how I used to be an NBA player. And then I lost it all dealing with these heifers. Now I sit down and do eat donuts and watch Ricky Lake all day. And watch Netflix. Badass kids running around here. That's how he gonna be. But anyways, Zion, be better, man. She whiz. Dealing with strippers and adult films. Oh my goodness, man. Be better, guys. Be better. It's not that hard.